Hi everyone, happy Saturday. Welcome back to my channel. It's Muriel here and I have the tutorial I wanted to share with you guys on these mittens, mitten tags that I'm making. So I'm going to sit myself down and hopefully I'll be able to see and film and share uh, all in one. So I hope you guys are doing well. The mitten tags I am referencing, I shared with you guys the other day, is this one here. And each time I create them, I do them a little differently. This has a lot of snow and cocoa uh, items on it. But I made two this morning, and I'll show you. Oops, I got some buttons I'm going to glue on later. So here is the one that I made uh, this morning. I have like two more to make. I'm going to show you one, and then I uh, have two more to make. And then I will be done with uh, making these. Okay, and then this one here looks like this I haven't decided um, the string I'm going to use but um, I had this idea when I used this house this is from the Mary Days collection it had this roof so I pulled out a very small die and I hope I don't lose it from a Sizzik uh, die that has a uh, chimney smoke so I did a little cut it out with some black paper and now I have some chimney smoke on there so really simple so let me go ahead and get started um here is the mitten die you can see it i shouldn't say die the cutout that i created on my cricut cartridge and i use the uh cricut artiste um <clears throat> cartridge from close to my heart it has like i heard like 750 images on it so i just went in there found the mitten cut it out size five and um put some paper. This paper here, I was mistaken in my old video. This paper is from Snowflake, right? So um, I covered it with paper and then I put a, another strip across where the top and the mitten meet. And then I just have some snowflakes that I cut out. I shared that with you guys last week as well. I just when it cut out a bunch of snowflakes, different sizes. Some are smaller if I need to do some fillers. So, and then this morning I found these buttons. I cut the shanks off them because I want to add them on to some of the uh, mittens as well. So what I have here is I just glued down uh, two of the uh, snowflakes and I glued down the word cheer. And I did that because it takes a minute because I lay them here and then I put on top and then I have to move them. So once I get them adjusted, then it becomes a lot easier. So with this one here, I'm going, I have this tree. This is from Recollections and I went ahead and uh, put some gold thread on top and I have one of those sparkly um, puffy hearts, puffy stars, excuse me, that I, let's see, is it anywhere around here? But basically I just, put a die into my machine with some um, foam. So this is the gold one, but I did the same thing with the white. And then I just pop them off and then use a little glue to glue on top. So I thought I would put my tree right here. So I'm gonna get some glue I have some tape in the back because the gold thread, you can see the gold thread, I had to lay it down. So I'm going to use the last, it's getting to the last of my mono adhesive. I ordered me some glue from, I don't know who, but on Prime. So I'm waiting for that to come. So I'm just going to put that, oh. My little gold thread is trying to come undone. Okay, so I'm just going to lay that right there. I don't want it to stick too far over the top. Let's see here, let's get this out. I hope you guys have been doing well. Last night I came home Friday and I made a ton more of the Christmas bows that I'm making. I made four more uh, packs. There's four in each pack, and I'm going to be selling them at my craft fair for $5. And they're just, as I look down the hall into my bedroom, they are climbing up the wall. There's so many. So um, 
Okay, I think that's good enough. So then what I took from my stash was one of the um, cut apart or ephemera pieces from the Snow and Coco collection. It has North Park ice skating on it. Uh, from the chipboard sheet, I put this little car. And then from the puffy sticker sheet, I put two houses. And I'm just going to lay that like right there. And then I have this uh, snowflake. I thought I would tuck under here. Like so. And then I have this chipboard piece here that says skate rentals, 15 cents. And I was just going to put that right there. So I'm just gonna make some adjustments here figure out exactly where things are going to go. And I'm going to get some um, foam adhesive for the back of that chipboard piece because I don't want it to bend or warp. And I usually keep, I don't know if you guys do this, but I keep little bitty pieces of adhesive in this jar because I don't want, I could use them, right? So I'm going to use this pink piece. Just going to uh, glue it to the back after I cut it down. Make sure that it's not hanging over. Yeah, let's just go on this side here. And again with the mono adhesive. Get that down. We are creeping up on the end of July, you guys. I still haven't even started cards, but I have my ideas. And um, to my left, I keep them in a um, like a Ziploc bag. I go out like this, put everything in a Ziploc bag that will make the card. So I have that going on. Last night I was watching, um, oh God, uh, Lisa Mears Designs, who she does cards with every... Echo Park paper pack and other papers. Um, but she was doing a demo of three cards using some dies from scrapbook.com. And as soon as she said these dies um, are right now 70% off and they will be like that until the 15th at 9 p.m. Mountain Time, I jumped up in the bed. I couldn't think what was mountain. I, I know I'm Pacific or I'm not central, but anyway, I, I ended up ordering the dies for $29 because, oh, it was a bundle. So I can't wait to get that because that's going to be really fun to create slimline cards with. So that's how that's going to go right there, you guys. I am going to go ahead and um, put some glue. Let me see, where's this going to stick at? Okay. I'm just going to put it straight down the middle here because the sides uh, won't touch because this is elevated. And that's about the width of the tree. So I'm going to put this one like here. And then going to put a little glue on this one here. I think it'll be able to let's see before that gets stuck. Let me just get this under here. I hope you guys have really been enjoying uh, these uh, tags that I'm making. I think my family and friends are going to be in awe. I hope. I know I'm having fun creating them. I'm just ready to um, move on to cards and some other projects. Um, lots of envelopes I want to make. Uh, lots of slimline cards this year. I want to try uh, a lot of those versus the other kind. So, okay, the last thing I'm going to do is I put some paper, some um, of that chalk on the back of this one here so it becomes a non-sticky element and I'm going to just pop her right there. So, let's get some mono on here Put it down like so
I love this collection. I, uh, oh. yeah, I, I love snow and cocoa. I just like that Christmassy look. Okay. Then the last thing I'm going to do is to add a reinforcement sticker. These are by Heidi Swap. And I'm going to put it here in this corner. And by the time I am ready to distribute these, I probably will have added more stuff. Like I wanna add these buttons on them, so that's gonna be something I'm going to add onto many of them. But I'm basically put the reinforcement sticker on and then I go in and punch the hole. Ugh. And then I usually turn it to help it get itself out. There we go. And there is the other and how I made the snowflake mittens. So I hope you guys are inspired. I hope you enjoy watching these. I hope you pull yours out and try. Um, again, like I said, go back a video because I'll show you there everything that I used. Um, cut out stars and uh, silver, gold stuff and these here are chipboard pieces from Merry Days. And again, this one here is from Snowflake. And some of these projects, I'm combining the two um, uh, collections, which is fine with me. So there you go. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll be back, I'm sure, if not tomorrow, I hope tomorrow, with another tag that I've completed. Have a great day. Bye now.